Have you ever noticed that once we switch on our system and it is booted up and then we try to open an application, it takes some time. But then when we close it and open it another time, it opens quickly. Stay tuned. So the reason is the CPU cache. CPU cache is a memory which is the fastest memory in the system. It is small memory but seemingly fast. So the processor runs on a basic principle to improve efficiency and reduce power consumption. So to improve efficiency it needs to quickly process data and for that the CPU guesses sometimes what would be required next. So once we try and open an application, it is stored in the CPU cache and then when we try to open it once again, it is directly taken from the cache memory. Here's a basic principle, HDD is the slowest part, then comes the SSDs that we use nowadays, solid state drives. Then we have a RAMs and then we have a much faster memory which is called the cache memory, which is a part of the processor. Imagine that you want to have an idea of the distance between point X to point Y, which is here 4.2 kilometers. A friend of yours says that it is roughly 4 kilometers. So it's better here to accept what he said rather than going from point X to point Y, which is time consuming or actually taking out your cell phone, unlocking it, opening maps, turning on your location, searching for the distance from point X to point Y and then finding out the result which is 4.2 kilometers. Our basic motto here was to save time. So instead of going from point X to point Y or opening your cell phone to search for the locations, we should accept what our friend said. Let's get back to CPUs. The CPU stores some data in CPU cache and when it requires that data, instead of communicating from the RAM and slowing down the performance, it directly fetches the records or data from the CPU cache memory, which is much, much, much faster than RAM. And like I said, CPU guesses what needs to be used next. So here, let me tell you that nowadays our CPUs have a hit ratio of 80%. But what happens when the guesses are incorrect? The CPU now tries to fetch data from RAM, which is, like I said before, slower than CPU cache. Now, where can I buy CPU cache? Like hard drives, SSDs, and RAM, we do not buy CPU cache. Well, not really, but then when we buy a processor, check in the description, the CPU cache would be mentioned there. So we have three levels of cache here, L1, L2, and L3. L1 is the smallest cache memory, but it is the fastest. L2 has more memory. L3 is the level 3 cache which has more memory than L2 and L1 cache. So more cache memory will not increase FPS in your games, rather it would increase the overall performance of the system. Thanks for watching the video guys, hit that like button if you like the video, leave a comment below for new ideas and make sure that you subscribe to our channel and share our videos.